What's good, you guys? It's your boy Bonkai to the motherfucking Tencho here, bringing you a review of another Century Episode R for the PS3. Also, for any Armored Core fans, this was made by From Software, the same people who did Armored Core as well as the previous and other Century games. As for any Gundam fans, From Software also did Unicorn Gundam for the PS3. Now, without further ado, let's get this shit started. Another Century episode R released on the PS3 in Japan, August 19, 2010. I picked up the game on a later date and streamed slash played and even finished all playthroughs for each franchise as well as unlocking all the mechs. I've also been uploading gameplay to the channel as well, so if you want to see more story on the game as well as gameplay covering the mechs, I left both playlists in the description. So let's start off with the story. What is Another Century Episode R about? To start off with the original timeline meant for the game, humanity has expanded beyond the solar system planet Adia has become one of those colonies. A girl named Autumn 4 who commands the spaceship Arc Alpha battles against Winter 1, a crazy fuck who wants the world under his own control. With everything that's happened around planet Adia, Autumn 4 summons heroes from different worlds who would later on find the amnesic Autumn 4. Yes, amnesia, because Autumn can't remember anything that happened. But the heroes are summoned for a reason, and it's to help Autumn as well as protect the Arc Alpha in their battle against Winter 1. The game features 12 anime mecha franchises, including Another Century itself, which makes 13. Overman King Gainer, Mobile Suit, Gundam Seed Destiny, the sequel to Seed as well as a returning franchise from Another Century Episode 3, Final, and my favorite Gundam anime, Mobile Suit, Gundam Crossbone, Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam, another one of my favorite Gundam animes and a returning franchise from Another Century Episode 1, Mobile Suit Gundam Shards Counterattack the movie, and a returning franchise from Another Century Episode 3, Final, Code Geass R2, Genesis of Aquarion, Super Dimension Century Ogus, Full Metal Panic, Macross Zero, Macross Frontier, Super Robot Wars OG, Ace Original. Together with those franchises, you can play as Hella Mechs as well as Hidden Mechs to unlock after finishing all playthroughs for all franchises. But my favorite mechs to use are the Zeta Gundam, Strike Freedom, Armored Clon, High New, and Bontakun. The story mission selection is like an upside down tree, kind of close to a tournament bracket, but on the bottom of the selection consists of each franchise prologue to the story. When you complete them, you will ascend to the next mission as you get close to the top. You will team up with all the other franchises, making them playable along with the rest of the characters you met along the way. If you manage to do certain conditions, you will unlock extra missions, including some with mission only mechs, like the Macross Quarter, and Armored Core 9 Ball Seraph. Now for the gameplay. You can't dash the way you used to in the previous and other Century games. We now have the boost feature as well as other features such as the tension gauge where killing enemy units will increase the gauge which will allow you to use special moves or the ultimate move known as the limit break which takes 5 bars of tension to use. There's also support where certain teammates can heal you during missions as well as raise the tension bar fully maxed. Episode R also has a button for transformable mechs with the flick of the right stick so any Zeta Gundam lovers can shift right into the Wave Rider mode. There's also Chase Mode. Chase Mode is a special game that is automatically activated during the mission mode. Movement is semi-automatic and the game progresses from camera angles other than the normal rear view. Players can respond to developments depending on the chase, such as defeating enemy units, evading attacks, and timing actions. When a button appears on the screen, press that button. If you cannot press the specified number within the time, game over may occur. With these new features, you shouldn't have any problems in the various missions that await you. 
Some missions consist of protecting your battleship, like the Ark Alpha, for example, while other missions consist of shooting down a horde of enemies. And I admit, there were some frustrating missions at the top right route during the sand level with the indicator up top and most annoying giant mechs, but as long as you got a good upgraded unit along with a good upgraded pilot, you should be cool. There's an upgrade feature for pilots known as skill points that pilots have separately after completing a mission, and there's ace points which all mechs share after missions too. Plus, if you ever feel like practicing and wanting to know more info on how to properly use your mech, there's a test stage on the bottom of the mission select. But for those who are familiar with majority of the mechs and mecha franchises that you've watched for years, you most likely won't need it. Another Century Episode R is a good game to play in my opinion, especially if you like Armored Core, then you'll definitely like Another Century. The gameplay though could have been better as there are other things it could have improved on. Like I missed the old melee attack controls from Another Century Episode 3 Final because you could also do combos. But other than that, that's my review of Another Century Episode R. If you haven't, then give it a try. I left the link to Amazon for the game. This is Bonkai's The Motherfucking Tencho signing out. I'll see you guys later.